Atlanta-based Delta Airlines is one of the largest carriers in the world. With nine hub airports across the country, the airline uses its fleet of over 800 mainline aircraft to connect cities big and small at home and abroad. As it continues to make investments in new aircraft, it's also working on retrofitting older aircraft in its fleet. The Delta fleet has changed significantly over the last two years. Notably, as a result of the pandemic, the airline has fully retired its McDonnell Douglas MD-80s and MD-90s, as well as its Boeing 777s. Delta also withdrew the Boeing 737-700s and retired a handful of other jets from the 717, 767 and A320 fleets. The first type we'll look at is the Boeing 717. The airline's fleet includes 54 Boeing 717-200s in regular commercial service, with a large majority of this fleet being leased. Previously, Delta operated around 90 717s, but has whittled this number down as part of its fleet simplification strategy and after introducing the Airbus A220 into its operations. The 717s seat 110 passengers. This is split across 12 recliner-style first-class seats, 20 extra legroom economy seats and 78 standard economy seats. Notably, this is the only Delta mainline aircraft that lacks on-demand seat-back entertainment as Delta chose not to retrofit this fleet as it moves towards retiring the planes over the next few years. The jets typically fly short-haul missions around the East Coast, primarily out of Detroit and Atlanta and on routes under two hours of flying time. Moving on, Delta has two types of 737s in its fleet. This includes the 737-800 and the larger 737-900ER. The Dash 900ER fleet is larger than the Dash 800 fleet, and Delta has been inducting some used 737-900ERs into its fleet as part of its rebuilding after the mass retirements of 2020. The Dash 800 seat 160 passengers across three classes, while the Dash 900 ERs seat 180 passengers across three classes. These planes are domestic workhorses for Delta Airlines and can be found flying to destinations across the United States, including services to Alaska and Panama. Next up are the airline's 757s. This type is flexible and can do everything from long-haul international to short-haul hops on high-demand routes. Delta flies both the 757-200 and the 757-300, although its 757-200 fleet far outnumbers that of the Dash 300. The 757-200s come in a few different configurations. Two of the most popular are standard domestic configurations, however there's a special subfleet of 757-200s at Delta which offer a more premium configuration with an overall lower capacity. This setup offers 16 lie-flat Delta One seats at the front of the cabin. There's also a fleet of 757-200s flying charter missions that are excluded from passenger service. Finally, the 757-300s feature seating for a whopping 234 passengers across three classes. Regardless of the variant, all 757s feature access to power as well as on-demand seatback entertainment. There are plenty of routes across the United States and near-field international destinations where the 757 flies to. Some of the destinations further out include Alaska, Hawaii and Ecuador. When it comes to the 767, Delta flies both the Dash 300ER and the Dash 400ER. The airline has set out plans to retire the Dash 300ER within the next few years, but plans to hang on to the larger Dash 400ERs for a while longer. Some passengers flying a 767 abroad this year will find themselves on one of Delta's planes that have been retrofitted, whether it's the Dash 300ER or Dash 400ER. Premium passengers up front will find lie-flat, forward-facing staggered Delta One business class seats. This is followed by premium economy, extra legroom economy and standard economy. By now, the 767-400ER fleet has been entirely retrofitted to include Delta's new premium economy product. This new class is located behind Delta One and in front of extra legroom economy and standard economy. The 767s are workhorses in the international market, flying to Madrid, Barcelona, London, Accra and more. 
At home, the 767s are used to add capacity on high-demand domestic services and can be commonly found on transcontinental routes such as between Los Angeles and New York. When it comes to the Airbus A220, Delta Airlines was the first US-based airline to fly the type, which was formerly known as the Bombardier C-Series. The airline flies both variants of the A220, the Dash 100 and Dash 300. The smaller Dash 100 seats 109 passengers, while the larger Dash 300 seats 130. The aircraft have two classes, a recliner-style domestic first class as well as economy class. Economy is subdivided into extra legroom and standard. The Airbus A220 is quickly becoming a popular aircraft on some of Delta's more competitive routes to its competitors' hubs, in addition to serving some thinner routes. For example, passengers can find the aircraft flying to cities in Texas like Dallas, Houston, Austin and San Antonio. It's also a common sight in other hubs like Seattle and Detroit. Moving on, Delta flies a large fleet of A320CO aircraft. The single largest A320 family fleet Delta flies is that of the 191-seat A321-200, of which Delta has over 120 examples. With the airline having taken delivery of the last ever A321-CO to be built, Delta is planning on taking its first Airbus A321neo sometime this year, which it plans to debut in Boston. The airline's smaller A319s are configured with capacity for 132 passengers across three classes. The midsize A320s, meanwhile, have room for 157 passengers in three classes. Like the Boeing 737 fleet, these planes are domestic and short-haul international workhorses. There are few cities seeing mainline service where a member of the Airbus A320 family fleet is not scheduled to fly. When it comes to Delta's Airbus A330 fleet, the airline inherited the wide bodies from Northwest Airlines before ordering even more of the type for its long-haul needs. This includes the A330neo fleet, which Delta was an early customer for. Delta's A330CO fleet is in the middle of a retrofit to feature the carrier's premium economy product. The unretrofitted A330-200s are outfitted with 234 seats, which include reverse herringbone lie-flat Delta I seats. The retrofitted A330-200 seats slightly fewer passengers, with room for 223 on board. This is due to 21 new premium economy seats in addition to its Delta I and economy classes. As for the longer A330-300, the unretrofitted planes have 293 seats on board, while the retrofitted equivalents have room for 282 passengers. Finally, for the A330s, the Dash 900 Neos feature seating for 281 passengers across three classes. The A330 family spends most of its time flying on long-haul international routes, which include destinations abroad like Lagos and Dakar in West Africa, or Amsterdam and Paris in Europe. In Asia, Delta is currently sending A330s to Seoul and Tokyo. And finally, the last aircraft in Delta's fleet we'll look at is the Airbus A350-900, the airline's largest plane by seat capacity. These jets are the crown jewel of Delta's fleet, and the airline has moved to acquire more in order to grow its long-haul capacity. The A350-900 seat 360 passengers across three classes and fly Delta's most prestigious long-haul routes, which include service to Sydney, Australia and Johannesburg, South Africa. The type can also be found on routes from Atlanta and Detroit to Asia and partner hubs in Europe like Amsterdam and Paris. What is your favourite aircraft in the Delta fleet? What about your least favourite? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.